Tale is a new fresh face on Roblox's RPG genre, taking the characters in the form of toys that is used in a turn-based attack mode, almost like Pokemon. The game centered around the island of Turtlesville, and as a player, you explore the world and battle it out with your captured toys based off Roblox figures against others or NPCs. The game is beautifully crafted, almost seeming endless in its charm and its world to explore. From talking to the townsfolk, capturing new figures using the capture system, and exploring fun new easter eggs in this game, this game clearly took a lot of time and efforts from the developers at the studio Playtale. It truly does allow you to live your own tale through the vast and charming world. Can this game reach higher in its standards? Could this be Roblox's biggest RPG of 2020? Let's find out. My name is Tanuki Alex and this is our game review series. Let's get started. Yo what's up Hash Junior Squad and welcome back to another video. Before we get started in this video, it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe and join the Hashtag Nerd Squad. It's easy, just go and press that red button. By pressing the red button, you will gain access to the latest news on Roblox drama, tips and tricks, and more. Anyways, let's get started with the grading process of the video. Doing the game in three parts as we usually do. Gameplay slash overall concept, building, and scripting. Using these three categories, we will find ourselves our average by dividing them to get our median, and that will be our total score. Let's get started first with the gameplay and the overall concept. Let's go to the game description to see how the developers think their game's overall concept works. Have the adventure of a lifetime. Capture new Roblox toys, train them in battles, and improve their powers. Become the ultimate Roblox toy trainer and make new friends and enemies along the way. Welcome to Playtale. Explore the vast world of Turtleback Island, discover and capture new Roblox toys, and train them to be the very best. Playtale is an all new Roblox battle game and the premier Roblox toys to life experience. You can even redeem your real world Roblox toys to fight for you in game. Don't forget to follow the creators. The game's overall concept is to explore the world, capture Roblox toys, and fight other people's Roblox toys. The game is very much focused on the toys to life aspect of the game, even going as far as to including scanning your inventory to include Roblox figures. This works by finding the item associated with the toy code in your inventory, which is actually a really neat concept. The Toys to Life genre hasn't been seen much in Roblox, and I believe, due to the creativity of this concept, it was strikingly innovative and nailed the target. To test it out for myself, I used two Roblox codes in my collection, as I'm a collector, and sure enough, it worked. I got the Prison Life developer and another one. As an avid collector of figures, I thought this was really well implemented into the game. It seems odd, however, as they aren't sponsored by Roblox or featured in any way or form. It's for developers who made this game. Another way to gain toys is through the crate system. However, because of the rarity of some of these toys, it seems like it's almost too easy to get them. Around 4 battles will get you 100 coins, which is a rare crate. I think this battle should kinda be debuffed a bit just to give the players who bought toys a more fair chance. A secondary objective of this game is to do quests. You can do quests all over the town by simply just talking to players. For example, I talked to Sick Joe and he needs water from the volcano in order to be not sick. These quests gain you coins and is a good incentive for players to keep on playing the game and taking more time. These quests encourage you to explore the map, which is good. You simply aren't just doing one objective in this game. It's multiple and that's what I like about this game. It never gets boring even if you're a high level player. Let's talk about the storyline now. The storyline is that it's set on Turtleback Island, an island with many diverse characters. However, this storyline needs to be improved much. Because the problem is, I'm a skeptic, and this game makes me question why. Why are you fighting these Roblox figures exactly? Why are you? And that's what really makes me confused about this game. Every good game, in my opinion, needs some sort of a storyline. It shouldn't just push you in with a tutorial and you're good to go. 
The tutorial works, but it doesn't explain why you're fighting the characters. Therefore, for this game to be better, I suggest to improve the storyline rather than just throwing you right in. So what's my overall score for the overall concept slash gameplay? I definitely rate it a 7 out of 10. It's a great concept, but there are flaws to it. For example, the 500 plus figures make it very hard to search for when you're battling a character, so it's hard to know who you're going up against unless you want to spend 30 minutes, in which by that time, they'll be running away. The other thing that needs to be improved is the storyline. The storyline is bleak and bland. Now, let's move on to our next point, the scripting. The game scripting is absolutely stunning. I definitely say it's the thing that the game does best. The GUIs are very smooth and I like the design of them from the text and the font and more. However, this game really tries to push you to buy its products, which I do not like. I believe they should push it down a bit less because I understand they need to make money, but sometimes it just seems a bit too in your face. The battle aspect is a bit flawed though as some certain types are not good or good against others, etc. They're all the same against each other and it's really about the level. I really believe they should upload types such as YouTubers, developers, and such, or game things. Something like that needs to be implemented because you do not know how moves are going to play out. It's more of, I have a stronger level guy, this is what it's gonna do. It's not like Pokemon where it's like, a water type against a fire type will make it lose. There are no types in this game and I definitely believe that it should be implemented. The battle in GUI is very smooth. I like the battle moves. They're very unique to the character. For example, a paintball character will have a paintball gun, and I think that was really nice for the developers to do. It's simple little things like this that make the game scripting special, and I think that they did a great job on scripting with the game. The only thing that I suggest on improving with the scripting is that sometimes the scripting will glitch out just a bit. However, these are fixable and I understand that the developer team is working their best to fix them. Another thing that I suggest is that the text goes out a bit slower. Sometimes the text goes a bit too fast or is unreadable because of how small it is. The only thing that I suggest is a bit more explanation be added to the bars. I don't really know what they mean and they weren't really explained in the tutorial. So what's my final score on the scripting? I'd say my final score on the scripting is definitely a 9 out of 10. It was very well done and it was clear that it took the developers a long time. Everything is refined in the game, but just a few glitches. These glitches I'm sure will be fixed soon however. It's mainly the problems with the gameplay though that make the scripting a bit less on the 9 out of 10 scale. On to our next point, the building. The game's building has great character, from the unique designs to the rooftops and more. The game tried to copy a timber framing style with some of the buildings, which was a style used in Victorian homes in the 1700s where a white panel would be outlined with black wood. However, what this game also does that is unique is it incorporates a multiple variety of shapes into the buildings. For example, the building that you just saw back there had some hexagon shapes. This helps to bring great character to the buildings and it makes the game unique. However, you can definitely see that it was copied from Pokemon, but that's okay. I like the market theme and I like the theme how it is a small beach town. It really adds great to the game. So what's my overall score on the building? My overall score is an 8 out of 10. I like it, but I think a couple of things could be added, such as more building designs other than the timber frame, etc. On to our next point. After adding up all three of our scores, we get ourselves a final score of 8 out of 10. I believe this game has much potential to it and could possibly be Roblox's top game of 2020 for the RPG genre. I understand that it's in beta and I'm sure the developers will improve on the bugs. I absolutely love the concept of the toys to life genre being implemented into Roblox as well as other creative features such as the unique moveset that pertains to each character. 
I really do believe that this game can set itself higher in its standards, but one thing that Major League needs to be worked on before it is released in alpha is that the storyline be improved. So this concludes our review on Playtale. If you wish to go check out the game for yourself, it's in beta and you can purchase it for 25 Robux. I definitely recommend that you support the developers. Before we end off this video, let's show the featured fan art. This week's featured fan art is by Super Gamer Boy and Scriptix. Thank you guys so much and I really appreciate fan art. If you're already made it thus far to the video, be sure to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.